Hello, welcome to part 10 of the how to set up your own Raspberry Pi to monitor and control a greenhouse or anything else you want to monitor and control. Uh, in this section we're going to go into how to install these software libraries, dependencies, and all these basically the software side of the Adafruit DHT11 and Adafruit DHT22 temperature slash humidity sensors. So without further ado, we'll get started. Uh, I recommend you go ahead and take a look at this page here. Uh, it's a good uh, precursor for what we're about to do, uh, or afterwards if you have trouble understanding what we're after. So anyway, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, first off, we're going to want to download the code. Before we do that, we'll have to log in through SSH, just like we always do. Uh, so now that we're logged in, first thing we want to do is change directories uh, to the root. We'll do that with a cd slash, um, and then we'll go ahead and we'll paste in the get clone uh, command, which will download the code for us. And then we'll go ahead and we'll change director directories to the Adafruit Python DHT directory. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and have a, a look at the files there. And you'll see there's one called setup.py. All right, before we execute that, we need to install a few dependencies. So first, let's go get the dependencies. Next, we'll actually uh, build install. Doesn't matter if you get, uh, you know, it's already done or uh, nothing upgraded, that's okay. Uh, that just means that you're up to date, that's good. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and install the library and compile it using this command. There you go. That's it. That's uh, the initial setup for the Adafruit DHT Python library. Uh, in the next section, I think we will look into some Python code a little bit, and we might even look into some hardware connections for uh, the one-wire temperature sensors as well as the Adafruit DHT22. Uh, with that, thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network. Hope you'll join us for the next session.